Welcome back, folks. I'd like to tell you now about this folding camping sleeping pad from Featherstone. They call it the Elcordian because it's a closed cell foam that folds up like an accordion. You'll notice one side is a reflective coating. If it's cold out, you want to use the reflective side up so that your body heat is reflected back at you. If it's hot outside and you're just using the pad for a little bit of padding on the ground and not insulation, then you probably want to put the yellow side facing back up to you. Either way, you're going to have an R value of about 2.1. Some more measurements here. We've got about 22 inches across. It's about 73 inches long. We're looking at about five and a quarter to five and a half across. There we go. A little, a little over four and a half that direction. So it is going to take up a little bit of space in your backpack, but you know, with these accordion fold pads, I have seen people oftentimes fold them like this and put it in an ultralight backpack and this becomes the frame in the back of the backpack up against their back so that's another option you have with a pad like this it is advertised as 16.1 ounces when i weighed this one it came in 15.6 ounces so slightly under a pound it is just over a half inch thick Overall, why I like a pad like this is, number one, you can't break it. You know, I shouldn't say that. Someone will figure out a way to break it, but compared to inflatable pads, that's what I typically use when I'm backpacking is an inflatable sleeping pad. It's real easy to poke a hole in it, or maybe they just wear out. Sometimes you go to inflate it and it just won't hold air. That's not going to happen with a foam pad. So you get durability, you get the you make it harder for people to break the pad. If I were buying a backpacking pad for a young Boy Scout, for example, who's going to be out doing a lot of backpacking, I would want something like this. I would not want to put them in an inflatable pad unless they are really attentive to their gear. They can be much more rough on this, and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Another interesting thing, if you fold your pad open like this, now you have a really nice camp chair. You can set this on a log or a stump or even on the ground just to give you something padded to sit on to get up off of that ground. It's a nice budget alternative to the Thermarest Z-Lite and Z-Lite SOL. This is going to come in with a little bit less damage to your wallet but still give you a nice pad for sleeping and sitting.